Okay, we're just playing the consolidation period today and um, up pop to 21.57 so far. Oh, I'm going to have to get my recording out for this one. It's not very often I get to play these 2,000 pluses. So we're going to have to just keep everything as simple as possible if we can. We don't know. Um, there's question marks and everything else, but they're 21.57 looks like on there but looking at these things sometimes because it doesn't show the casual games that the opponents played it just shows you the total for the rated games but 2157 that's not that's nothing to be sniffed at so we want to play nice and steady just kind of do what we do I'm just going to bring this here don't want to jump too much out of anything Just keep it simple because they're not magicians or they don't have like they're not from planet Zarg or anything so he's looking to blast through the center which made sense and we would just take this off the board so nothing fancy nothing great we will have seen this type of thing before before it was going to go with the element here but he's not doing that And King Castling. King Safety is really what we do, isn't it? Just make sure we're not going to jump into some sort of attack on my king side. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Just be steady. I think King Safety is going to be okay for us. Let's just castle. It's nothing meaty at the minute. I mean, can take that. We're just used to doing this. Might even look to actually attack the queen. Oh. Ah, so they're going king safety as well. Interesting times. King is there at the minute. Bishop's blocking this pawn. Could get the rook here. Get the bishop attacking one of these knights. Take this knight. No, we don't want to invite the queen down. Push. Blocking the bishop though. Actually x ray through to the king. I think we need to be a bit active, proactive. They look a little bit on the back foot because they're going kingside castling, which is nothing wrong with that. He's still got his pieces out anyway, he's only got the bishop that's on the back. And the queen. Same as what we've got. Okay, so this is where it starts getting funky. So it's attacking the knight. And I don't think there's anything major. At this moment. It's definitely still wanting to castle, but as we said, with the higher rated players, sometimes they forget the basics. But for the 2000 pluses, what we did say was that they're understand the basics and they play the basics better than like the 1900s and stuff and when you look at the games you go oh that was easy that was simple and straightforward so it looks like we're trying to be as simple against this player so he's attacking our knight but our knight can jump and it's nothing magical to hear which is attacking this knight which is x-rayed through to the king at the minute from the bishop So is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? I'm going to attack it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, tickly for up. So the queen's down. We can expect these I'm gonna say simple basic maneuvers is attacking a piece that doesn't have any protection on it. So we can continue and attack the knight, seeing as it doesn't have any protection and our white square bishop can't come out protecting. Don't have a pawn that can and just get taken off the board. Could push there, but then again it's open up our king. So we don't need to leave the bishop there, you can bring it back to where it came from. 
could bring it here but it's going to be sat there forever doing nothing but we could bring it here to attack the queen but then they just block off and the bishop's dead so I'm going to have to just bring it back and keep it safe now they'll castle my queen feels a little bit hemmed in, hemmed in. It's very active now. He's got active positions for his bishops. We don't currently have that, so we're going to have to fashion something, maybe a potential attack onto bishop, something like that, just to let them know that we're in the game. White square bishops not really having much fun. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Mm. What about white square bishop? No, no, no. That'll be blocking stuff. Rook across? No. Pawn push up. Pawn. Don't, don't really like that one. Okay, which is the best one out of these for me? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I think if we take it, the uh, queen's out. Bishop's a bit jammed in there. Got to find the right. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Can't be wrong. Usually can't be wrong. So I'm making him do something he didn't really want to do. Moving really quick, so I'm thinking I'm, I've got them worried now than if they're moving fast and blitzy style this is a 30 minute 10 second game because he could have gone back here he could have gone back there but obviously he would have been blocking his bishops so I suppose that was the best of choice then maybe he's looking to come here looking for the cheap shot that's why he's moved so quick Unlucky, we can't go there. So maybe we could do this and do that. Going back to the secondary moves. I think I'm happy with this one. Rooks like the open file, so I'll probably get this activated at some point. Not maybe not today. I think the bishop probably might be looking to sit here. Yeah, so it took a bit of time with that move, but as he have a look at the position that he's aiming for. You know, he's constantly he's kind of looks jostling for that position, targeting towards my king area. We know exactly what they're trying to do. Mm. <laughs> Bishop still on the back, highlighted. I think I'm just bring it, bringing my bishop off. The basic as possible again the rooks want the open files but at this moment it doesn't look too threatening i'm just trying to get my pieces ready to maybe be protecting my king area at some point somewhere don't want my king feeling too home alone as we know well, it's full of attacking processes isn't it i was instantly just going to do this if I was playing like a fast bullet game or something, I would have just probably taken this pawn off the board. So what made me think that? So we take, he takes back. We have to file onto the bishop. Do back. 
takes, maybe he doesn't take that, maybe he does something fancy. I'm going to take it. I don't think I need to overthink it. I don't think this, it's not me, the pieces aren't together as yet. Yeah, so he's attacking our bishop. So that's okay, just move it back. Don't need to overthink that. Definitely not bringing it all the way back here. Could have sights of our own position here. If we could get our queen there. But I don't think our queen's going to... Ooh, it's coming for the rook. So that's kind of small potatoes, isn't it? Because we're going to block off, I think. And I don't think I'm going to... Hmm... I think I'll move the rook. I think I'll just block it off. I'm feeling more comfortable just blocking this baby off. Opens up space for my queen to swing from side to side as well. A strong arm in this area here. Still towards my king area. Nothing too major at the moment because the bishop is covering this key square. Can probably expect these to come charging down. Or oh, the rook. <laughs> okay, so that's made space here on this um, square. So our queen could get to there if he wants to lose his head. I've still got my pieces, although they're not directly there, they're making inroads into protecting my king area. Fingers crossed. We've done this a few times where we felt like the opponent was working towards our king area and we kind of retreated and tried to get the pieces protecting the king area and it seems to work out because there's no point overextending if the opponent's really going to have more pieces attacking you your king area so I'm really this is like rope it up it's looking obviously to come here but it's uh, blocking off the, the attack with the bishop so he's sensing something's going wrong but like we said we're going to be potentially trying to make sure our king isn't home alone if we can continuation of here yep as we just said <laughs> Let me just simply move the king out of the way so that there's none of this funny business going on so I'm hoping we're prepared as best possible you know towards defending this attack because if we were asleep I think they would have got it already And this is definitely the sort of game I need to play for the over the board competition, but not at this level, you know, I mean, this is like a 2000 pluser. Um, I'm not playing 2000 pluses in my tournament. Um, I'm playing under 1500. <laughs> So I'd be hard pressed to be playing, you know, seeing these sort of attacks on me over the board with an under 1500, unless they're masquerading as some sort of um, grandmaster, secret grandmaster. Again, it's not to say that these 2100s online are 2100s. If you've had a look at my rating, you know, the real rating. Um, schedule he normally would knock off like 400 to 500 points off of uh, any ratings that you see online unless of course they're a true 20 what 20 this is a 2157 if they're a true 2157 and over the board then so be it and that's fine 
Uh, but I know for a fact if I'm playing like a 2100 over the board, <laughs> I would not be lasting too long at all. So it's not slant on them, it's just being realistic about the levels online when you're playing them. It looks good when you're playing against the 2100 that, whoa, yeah, I'm, I'm still in there, I'm, I'm equalising with them, it feels really good. But I'm a realist. And I know that this player isn't really a 21, they're, they're an online 2157, there's a massive difference. Again, they, I could be proved wrong and they could be a real over the board 20, but even then, if they were a real over the board player, I wouldn't get anywhere close to this type of position against a real 2100. If that's my truth, I'm sticking with it. So the reality is, I'm playing like a 1500, if they were an over the ball player, they're probably around about 1500. Okay. So what's the attempt now? It's obviously probably blocking off the bishop um, coming here maybe for some reason. Is the rook looking to come here? What What is not protected? I mean, he'd move back to protect his pawn as well. So obviously our bishop could come here and attack there. Don't think there's any score for doing that because it's just going to open up the king. Maybe it's time for the open files, but I don't know how much strength that's got to it. I uh, think let's give it a try because we're getting close towards some sort of end so I might as well get the rook over across see if there's any credence in owning this square and doubling up I don't know if we're going to have space to double up get the bishop up get, oh, it's coming in for the king attack Coming in for the king attack, so I've got one on here. I'm gonna to have to bring the rook up defending. So again, it does give space if we want to double up, maybe to come across here at some point. Get the bishop down here, protecting this pawn. Something like that. All depends on what they do, of course, but they're really not letting up on this attack on our king, Gary. At all. Attacking the queen. Attacking the queen. Queen can go one space, can go here, could come here, could come here. Could go here just to then exchange the rook off. Could be an idea. bit worried now because his rook could potentially come here if we go here rook takes queen to no he's not having any of that we did say the bishop's probably just coming down make space as well for any activity coming here or even attacking the bishop maybe is he going to sacrifice his rook I feel a sacrifice coming on of some sort. I really do. Takes if the king takes queen. Oops, queen comes there. Uh, check. Uh, don't have any. That doesn't have any follow up really. If he does do that, I just I can feel it in the water. It's just bursting. It's trying to get in. Okay. 
Okay, Bishop's blocking off the passageway, but we could maneuver up to come around the back. The strength of the rook, hopefully, fingers crossed. It's on our pawn, so is he looking to take and then, but he's only got one piece there at the minute, so that, ooh, looky, looky, looky. He's coming out with the good stuff. So his bishop's just going to take, isn't it? Ooh, that's going to hurt. His bishop's just going to take, but we do have all this support in here, so I, I think they'll be a bit crazy if they did. But if they did, they're just running out of ideas, and that's what I'm picturing. They've just kept this constant presence around the king area, but I, I'm just I'm just hoping. I mean, I don't think there's any meat on the bones on it. So we can defend quite easily. We've got the bishops there. We've got the rook here, supported by the queen. Now we can start establishing our own attack towards their king area. But you never can tell when somebody's coming squishing you. <laughs> I don't feel like my king's home alone, so if there are pieces getting whipped off, I feel there's going to be a fair exchange. Might even be a. In fact, we're a pawn up at the minute. Cracky, I didn't even notice that. We're a pawn up at the minute, so we probably can allow ourselves to lose a pawn in this exchange. Just so that then we're relieving this pressure that they're looking at putting towards our king area. I think it would be an even exchange. They'll equalise by getting the pawn back. That's what I think. Oh, hear me. This has to be my last one today. I'm coming out with the ordinary basic stuff. The Jake reaction will be to go here, but I think I just get my rook trapped. So it looks like I might have to go backwards to gain some benefit. Triple up on the protection. That's no problem. So it looks like I'm totally hemmed in because my bishops aren't in operation. So it's like, it looks grim. On the face of it, it looks grim because they've got some potential attack. But in the long scheme of things, I'm just thinking, well, what are you going to do after the exchange has happened? So I'm just sitting waiting for the opponent. I'm not doing anything great. I'm just waiting to see what they do. They're in the aggression mode. They're in the attack mode. So until they've punched themselves out, there's no... Okay, so it's on the other side of the board. I think they have punched themselves out. They're sitting waiting for me now. 
I think that's a that's a good sign. <laughs> That's a good sign. I mean, this space here looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to be cheeky and see if I can grab it. So we know now that it doesn't look like they're going to overextend. They do want to take it with the bishop, but they're thinking, well, does it improve our position? Queen's moved. Queen's moved, waiting for me to do something. I mean, I was looking to go there. He's obviously done that to block that. I can't bring the rook behind. I suppose I could come here to come here, but then it just moves the bishop. <laughs> it's a good job we've got a lot of time to think, isn't it? Attack this pawn. Don't think that's worth it though, is it? Six rooks defending. Make space for the bishop. So this pawn is not defended. We'll get the bishop here, maybe attacking. Oh, he's moving quick. He's moving quick now. Like, oh, it's because he's attacking our pawn like we were planning to attack his. I think, you know what? I'm going to still continue with that. So I can move quick too. So he takes. Just drop it back. Does he take or not take? Take. So it's going to be combination we're kind of half owning this file situation potentially getting rid of the key one that was going to be Ooh, he's not actually interested in any of that no, i'm surprised at that queen's going further back i don't know if that's any I don't know if that's any... Oh, he's got two on one, on he? Obviously, with his queen and the bishop. Hmm, we could bring the rook across. Don't need to lose any sleep. file could attack this pawn because there's nothing protecting it there and JP the bishop does come down is on the rook queen and the <coughs> excuse me it's on the queen and the rook <coughs> yeah okay so we probably just have to go here Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that now. Up, down, bishop takes. Come up, attack the pawn. 
Okay, so we did see we we probably end up get losing the pawn again. I think with the rhythm, we might get stuff back with the rook coming up here. So that fork is going to be quite good for them. Let's go here. So we can sail up there. We still do have an attack here. Quite like my bishop being there at the minute. We at some point get this over across. Oh, he may just take with this one. So there's options. We knew there were going to be fireworks. But for some reason, the fireworks have come across to the other side of the board. Don't seem to be really towards the king area now. Because like we said, it looked like it didn't have any um, weight behind it. So I'm quite pleased with that. And now I'm happy just to lose a pawn, but hopefully have some type of better position on the board. That's all I'm looking at here. And we haven't done anything special. Look at our pieces still stuck on the back. And they've got a few more punches to throw, but then I'm hoping then that they just they will have punched themselves out and it will peter out that they've got a bad position so he does take so that was pretty straightforward and we're going to attack this pawn here like we said so it's all simple stuff so we're currently attacking this and we're attacking this he's going to take this pawn off the board and be on our rook he's not doing any of that crikey okay Let's simply take here. Don't need to overthink it because we've covered it already. It all depends on what they do, and I believe this has got to be coming next. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece makes sense, gives them something to think about. Could potentially come across and attack the bishop if we need to. Options, choices, choices, options. Which one would be better? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece is okay. But maybe this is better. You know, attacking the bishop. I think it's pretty obvious he's going to be taking the pawn. I don't have anything meaty, meaty, but I want to get a, a, a better position. I think if I push the pawn here because he's got the element of being able to take the bishop back but then if he takes the pawn back the queen can take the bishop anyway can't it oh he's not done any of what we've just said <laughs> oh cranky oh dear me so that's a horse of a different colour I don't think there's an issue taking but we shall Endeavour to see. So that's messed up all of my calculation now, hasn't it? Now we're inviting the Queen into the party. But his Queen coming into the party causes them problems, doesn't it? Because then we can own this file of the Rook. But... I can come here, but no, I think this looks quite nice for us. I'm going to grab this baby. 
queen takes straight away. He's moving too fast, you know. He's not putting no thought into it. So we could attack and go around the back, but then there's nothing there. Could come here. We did like that position, but uh, the bishop's gone there. Could double up on the rook, hit the rook. So this was the type of thing we were, we were kind of hoping for. Is that all of this work that they did with the pieces on this on our king side hasn't given them the best position coming towards the end game? One, two, three, one, two, three. Mm. I think we have to be mindful because our rook doesn't have any protection on it does it and the queen is actually on it so I think actually coming to protect and then maybe doubling works for me I'm so glad we've got so much time to actually think of these movers, movements firstly the rope had up where basically we didn't do anything all we were doing was blocking off the potential attacks that the opponent was trying to put in place and then focusing on the kind of mid game if you like if you want to term it that in terms of well what's the position going to be like after they've punched themselves out how are we going to be okay so it's a big excuse me big rook move Can we get to their king at all? I don't know. Because this isn't over. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, which is look to see whether we can double. I suppose we can just drop back here. He's got the bishop protecting anyway. But if we can reduce that, I mean, amazingly, we're still plus one. And we're really getting towards the end game I'm, I'm not so bothered about being plus one I just want to improve the position uh, could take I don't know if that helps but we shall endeavor I'm reducing down because we're plus one it's as simple as that that's all I'm doing That's my simple rationale just from actually capturing them. <clears throat> my mindset is in the um, trading down aspect. Don't know if that's going to be right or not. <sighs> I'm just going to see if I can get away with it. Looks like they're kind of fed up of the game. So we traded down. So it's going to be owning of files and supporting these pawns. Yeah, it's tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> it's that spot. <laughs> Owning of the files. Okay, so the rook is protecting the key file here. So that's okay. The bishop itself is protecting this pawn. Uh, you know what? I can see this happening here, attacking. I uh, suppose we can come across and support the bullet here. Get the king to safety or bring it here and upwards. Is that going to work? So our pass pawn is this lovely pass pawn here, but we're going to have to support it somehow. Mm -hmm. So I think if we come across, if we go up, attack this pawn, takes, takes. Might give us a bit of weight support in the pawn coming up. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, dear me. I feel like I've been sat here ages. And we did say we were just going to attack this pawn, so we're going to continue with what we said. Nothing grand about anything that we're doing, just simple chess. And then moving way, moving too fast. I'm, I'm, I may lose the game, but still, they're still just moving too fast, and there's no rationale for that. So we're wanting to manage this pawn. So if we push up, and I think that might stand us in good stead, although I think they'll just lock down. So we we'll end up just locking this down, and we have the passer. So that I, that's no problems for us. So the key thing is for myself is looking at the game. Oh, now he's supporting. So it's basically just going to get locked down. Um, we can look to trade down as we've mentioned and the issue that they do have this is a quite a nice move actually but I don't know if I will see attacking the bishop because we're looking to trade down if they take then the king takes that's fine if they don't and they think they're being clever and they attack here we do have Rook here, putting the check on. King can't attack it directly because the bishop's protecting. So if it drops down here, and we're taking another pawn. Mm hmm. Kind of like the position of it, and I've only done a two stepper on that one. I've only done a two stepper, maybe it's not the rook that goes there because I'm just conscious that his rook can come down here. So they've gone and taken that pawn, bring the bishop here, attacking this pawn. This is going to push down, isn't it? And then we can wreak havoc on this situation here. It's going to take it back. Improves our position on the board on the king side. Not by any great shapes, though. Maybe. Hmm. We have to think about that one. We have to think about that one. So that's the last one. Let's see. Okay, let's think about that. Is there something else? No, this rook's got this passageway. Maybe pushing the pawn up, but then it's on a white square. Rook can come down, just take it. I suppose our rook can go and defend. Mm. I don't know if I like the apples. I'm interested in that. Takes. Take. Push this down. Push this down. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's one. Two. 
three. So what's the fourth move? Hmm, you know, I'm gonna probably kick myself, aren't I? Could we just do that straight off? <laughs> After all that. I'm taking. It's a little bit, I can't see the fourth move, which really gives me the oomph. I think it's clearer now. Attack. Takes. Bishop attacks. Or maybe the bishop doesn't attack this time. Yeah, bishop attack. We're getting there, we're getting there. Don't rush it, we're on 10 minutes. We're getting there. Anything else? We did the simple capture. We're still really wanting to do this, but is there something? Can't do that because the rook is going to come here, do we? So stop doing that. Is there anything with just a simple bishop block? No, because the rook comes here. Let's attack the bishop. Let's let's get rid of this now. Let's take it to where it needs to go. This has been a very long game, but it's been very interesting. We have a passer. It should see us right, but if he just ends up blocking it with his king and we can't get through, then it's a draw. Or if he finds a magical way of disturbing my king somehow. I'm surprised they've not offered a draw actually, even though you know we've got plus one you'd think they would offer a draw in this type of position but he's going to get the pawn back so it'll take a while for us to actually even potentially get another pawn but I'm hoping the position is going to be a little bit better for us if I've yes they have done it let's go we've done this about 50 million times haven't we so this is where we know where we're going to do they bring the bishop here or do they push the pawn down which one is it going to be so they're happy now that they've actually got the pawn back but is their position yeah so the bishops come and defended Could be a draw. If we swing back here, then we're putting pressure onto his king. That's ideally what we wanted anyway. Yeah. So we've got scope. He's blocked his rook from coming down and attacking our king. So in essence, they've kind of worsened their position. But it's it looks kind of drawish to me. He's got a passer now. Ooh, what's that? Let's 
I'm tempted to go straight away and do that, but this pawn has got no protection on. So we could attack that pawn in the meantime. Try and give them something to think about. Even though it does look like it's um, drawish, maybe they're going to make a mistake. But I doubt it very much. I bet you they make perfect moves right from this point onwards. Do you know, I'm going to actually offer them a draw. <laughs> I'm just clicking the draw because it is. it looks like a draw now. I did say I was trying to fight against doing the draws. But especially if you're playing an over the ball game, you're playing for hours and hours and hours and you just sat there and you're going, oh, I'd rather just take a draw, you know, than try and work it out. Yeah, he's, he's finding the gold, isn't he? He's giving up the pawn. For some, he's going to get my pawn here, and then his pawn is more advanced up the board. I'm still going to lose this pawn anyway, aren't I? If I move this, then his rook's just going to come down and get it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just move it anyway, if he comes back. Oh, no. Have I messed something up? Oh, no, 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 no. Not at this late stage of the game. I did say he was going to be able to come round for the bomb, but we can always take it still. He's just got a more highly developed pawn, hasn't he? Mm hmm. We'll have a bit of a check on his king here. Oh, dear me. So now he's protecting stuff. Check on the king, but then he just comes across from my rook. Take the pawn on the far side, but then he's just um, wiping me out. With checks on my king, I'm taking here. I'm going to offer a draw. <laughs> Thank you, crikey sake. <laughs> I bet there's a... Oh, I thought I would have done straight away. I might sort of a casual game, isn't it? No, to... Damn, no. It's... I'm going to keep the arrows on on this one just to have a look. Knight uh, up. Bishop attacking the knight. No, just bring that there. Got to take that pawn off. Got a castle. And now we can move our pieces. But that's not showing us the best. <laughs> That was an arrow there for us all, wasn't it? <laughs> Craggy. An arrow for a shabby move. Right, so they capture, obviously capture Pat. Pawn maneuver. Hmm. Knight attacking. Feeling okay, yeah, grab. Just bring the bishop back, it's got nowhere to go. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Damn, it's kind of drawish. Hey, minus three. Ooh, don't like that queen move. And attacking the pawn here. Just bring the bishop out. Let's grab that. Yep. Got on with the bishop. And look on in the file. We for a block. What's the much difference? Minus one. Ooh, we're giving them a plus point one. Oh, point seven. Hmm. I didn't really see that this was this kind too early, wasn't it? Look, it's got really nothing to really target, per se. Yeah, it's the open fire, but it's just going to be sat there doing nothing. Hmm. Okay, it's got drawish there. We went for the block. That's giving them 
one is giving them plus one actually. I still think I'd still do that. Mm, yeah, okay. And this rook has no place in the centre of the board situation, so the rooks come down looking for some glory. Well, that's a big bishop move. What's that? Wow, it's a massive bishop move. Where's it going? What does it intend to do there? Do not just do that and then you have to come back again. What's that for? Oh, it's blocking the rook from coming here, isn't it? Uh, yes, I see. That's quite a nifty little manoeuvre, isn't it? It's not doing anything. It's enticing the blockage of its own piece, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong. And then it's saying do this, which is attacking this. But that takes that support away from the queen. So then when you could come and attack here. And the queen moves back. But it's not too meaty because they're still plus. Yeah, and then that's, yeah, it's still plus. So I don't think we did too badly there. So we brought the bishop back, we had our rationale of trying to get this here and somehow keeping the king um, feeling like it's got a bit of company. Yeah, we've got a big, big arrow there, nice one. Moving the king. Yeah, it's very tight, it's a very tight game. Yeah. Now we can look to sort of own the file. There is some sort of potential for something somewhere. Um, better than the first time that it offered it. And the queen's flying through now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. What's that idea to be potentially maybe going to attack the rook? Hmm. Okay, right. Okay, so there's no major, major dips. It's like small little incremental moves, isn't it? Especially with the rope up that we're doing here. This is um, it's quite neat rope doping because the opponent is definitely just trying to squish our king down. So we bring it back, tripling up on the defence for the king. And this pawn move here, this is at the point where we said it looks like they've dried up now. So they're just waiting for us to um, do something. And you can see as well, it's like minus 1.5 for us, because they had actually dried up around the king area. So if you can weather, I can't say I'd do it all the time because I'd get caught out, especially in those faster games. You know, they'll just cream me. Because I'm, I'm not covering my blind spots. So this little merry dance here with the queen lost me points. And we're just jostling for minute, minutest of positions here. Attacking the pawn. Because it's got no protection on at the minute. And then they're doubling up their attack on this pawn here. So at that point I realised, eek, well we're going to potentially lose out. Well, not lose out, we've already got a pawn up, so they can grab it back, but we can improve our position on the ball. Gauge bars on our side, minus two. I think that is more a positional thing. So we can grab the pawn. And then, didn't know that was going to do with that bishop move, actually. I did catch me by surprise, but um, at that point, we were willing to basically trade down because I think we were talking about being plus one or something, weren't we? Yeah. So that minute plus one gave us the confidence. And plus the position on the board gave me the confidence to say, well, it looks like we can look to trade down here. And gauge bar looks like it's working on our side here. I'm trying to simplify as best possible. Keeping it simple. And again, this king move up here just to attack this pawn to hopefully get rid of this this pawn to start the snowball rolling. 
and just grabbing, grabbing. Did spend a bit of time with this particular manoeuvre here, thinking, let's go for it, but yeah, it didn't. I couldn't get the fourth move out in the calculation, so we, we hung fire. And it looked a lot better seeing it after we'd done the removal of the pawn than we could do that move. So in my own head, it's like a move order thing. And yeah, again, this manoeuvre here, taking... It's drawish anyway, isn't it? Just didn't like the fact if we take, then he's going to have a, a better pawn here. And if the bishop takes, I suppose we could do this, but then he can just do that if he wants to. Doesn't feel like I'd be winning in any way, shape, or really. Yeah, yeah, didn't like the look of that. But it's showing drawish anyway. And at that point, the opponent agreed the draw that I offered. Interesting game against a 2100 online let's class them as 1500 OTB type thing brilliant game nice training game